The Ice Cream Project, a pop-up ice cream shop in London aiming to offer unexpectedly delicious ice cream and sorbet flavours, created from beloved household brands. Today, our team has gathered a bunch of them for us to blind taste test. Number one. First thing to do is find it. Oh, Ebbers, I've got it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, oh dear. Right, you go in first. So it's just guess the flavour? Yeah. Ooh, very soft, very creamy. Oh, it's like salted caramel. It's not salted caramel, that's the thing, isn't it? It's salted caramel-ish, but... It's ticking the same uh, notes on my tongue as that, but this is, no, this, you know what this is. What um, is this? No, I don't know, it's, um, yeah, I do, it's, um, are we working together or against each other? We're working together, well... I think it's umami. Okay. It could be salted miso. That is a great shout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's got more to it, hasn't it? It's got... It's got that fermentedness, but not like a, not like a fermented funk like a kombucha or a, like a, a lactic sour dough ferment, it's got that kind of miso, umami ferment. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, I'm with you. I think that's, I think that's miso ice cream. And that is genius, because it's delicious. It's like salted caramel, but up a layer of complexity. Because it's, I, I would also say it's got vanilla. I think it's, it's the base is vanilla ice cream. So yeah. I'm definitely getting a vanilla in. It's that thing. It's the compound. It's the little thing that, tastes like vanilla that's in vanilla, but it's also the reason you get it in whiskey and wine when it's been oak, ah. oak aged. We're locking in miso. Okay, should we have a look? Could still be miso. It's the right colour for a white miso. They're absolutely delicious. Let's find out. This, oh. Oh. This is soy sauce. We did, we did Salty this. Salty umami. We tried to make this work in our weird flavour combinations. Oh, you boys did this, yeah. Yeah, but we put too much soy sauce. I said it would work. I, sa I said that this would work. It does work, it's delicious. Someone's made it work. So Kickerman soy sauce. Oh, Kickerman, classic. Toasted sesame laced with umami rich soy sauce. So that's Toasted sesame, so that's where you get the nutty. It's rich mellow flavour comes from long months of unhurried natural brewing. Use it to bring an authentic taste to your stir fries, and remember it makes a superb store cupboard seasoning for everything from sushi to shepherd's pie. Rich in umami, which brings out the taste of food. 100% a scoop of that on a sticky toffee pudding. Yeah. You would just have all of those kind of the date treatly kind of unctuousness of that with this, which is just yeah. salty umami. You know, I don't want to be dipping my dim sum in it. No. But <laughs> I do want to be putting it on a very sweet, like a savoury sweet, like a bittersweet dessert. There we go. A classic branding we all know and love. It's so weird, isn't it, seeing seeing that yeah. but on an ice cream <clears throat> tub, isn't yes, it? Yes, but actually I do think, and this is why this is genius, I think we've started to see the rise of savoury ice creams on restaurant menus, but very difficult as Joe Public and Normal was to get hold of it. Sesame oil, it's got sesame oil in it. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say you can taste the sesame oil. That is a standout ice cream. That's so good. I was kind of thinking that these might be novelty. Okay, I'm gonna come clean. Yeah, yeah, I, I, we found about it. I found out about this store before and there's been a few articles about it and I've seen some of the flavours like baked bean and I was worried that it's like why are you putting baked beans in ice cream? So I presume that's why they were blindfolding us because they were gonna be a bit but well, that's absolutely delicious. Starting in 2022, the Ice Cream Project is a pop-up shop in Chelsea, London, created by British fashion designer Anya Hindmarch, selling what they describe as unexpectedly delicious ice creams and sorbets. Uh, taken from household classics, which are produced in small batches in Devon in the UK, the project sets out to challenge perceptions in an artful way. I definitely think if you see it, you're, you're a bit confused by it, but the curiosity does get you. I am now looking forward to number two. Me Three, too. four, and however many of these we're doing. How many are we doing, boss? Six! If you're enjoying this, there are some small things you can do that make a big difference to us. Like the video. Subscribe if you aren't. Click the notification bell and select all. Thanks. Ready for number two? Yeah. This bit is the most uncomfortable bit. Got it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, all on out. Well, it's got bits in it. Oh my word. That takes me to a place. What is that? And a time of year. How? It tastes like- It shouldn't be an ice cream, Mike. 
But because it is, it's delicious. But it tastes like bread. I don't want to mention the thing I always mention. Go on, do this, it. This takes me to about late May. You are being in the allotment. Annoyingly cryptic. And uh, you want to eat all. Speak your mind! Mange too or peas. It tastes to me like spring pea or summer pea. Really? Yes. And and with the cream that I would often put in like a pea soup, but much sweeter. I can't stop tasting bread. So what um what's wrong with me? Have I got a cold? Well I have got a cold. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, like, the lumps are odd, I'll be honest. Is it the lumps beer? are odd. Is it like me. yeast? We need to lock in an answer. So you're locking in pea? Yeah, that's what I mean. It shouldn't be there. I think it's bread. Lock it in. Um, bread. It's definitely not pea. Look at the colour of it. Oh. All I get now is vanilla ice cream. Now I can see it. But right. maybe it's toast. Now you say it and I see it, I get different. But all I, all I got all the way through that was one Genuinely thing. need you to put me oh, out you of my mix. so much closer than I Oh! Was. Well, obviously. What is it? Warburton's Crumpets. <laughs> what? Melt in your mouth toasted crumpet and notes of butter. Five generations worth of expertise goes into making our products and allows us to continue a tradition Butter. of baking. You're so right. Why the hell did I get pee? I don't know. There you go. And maybe it's the buttery. Oh, wow. No. That is mad. Couldn't, couldn't be more wrong. You were very, very close. Yeasty. That is so British. A, a crumpet ice cream. Would you go with unexpectedly delicious? I think it's think tasty. It's... I, I don't think it's mind blowing, I'll be honest. <clears throat> do you remember when Barry and I made a duck chock ice. Yeah, I do. Of course I do. With brown bread ice cream. Yes! 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 That, that's it. It's that toasted, yeasted, bready. I mean, you got it. You got bready, yeasty. Yeah, I think maybe I got confused by the butter because I think you can really taste the butter coming through. And classic English crumpet has to be laced or sodden I mean, it's with literally butter. the perfect Everyone's vessel. Nodding. It's the perfect vessel for butter. Yeah. It's holy. Sorted. Waiting for God's bread. Oh, so good. I love the bubbly texture of a crumpet and the fact that when you toast it, it's slightly crisped on the top and the bottom, but then inside it's just like pull away, bubbly, just yeasted. Yeah, texture. What worries me now is I've got peas, baked beans and bisto in my head and I probably won't taste anything else. I, if we have a <coughs> gravy ice cream, <coughs> then it'll probably be entertaining for you. Number three. Right. I've got it. This I'm gonna rely entirely on my palate oh. and not my memory. Cheers. No, I'm not even there yet. Oh, oh. no, I don't know my. Oh, for goodness Cheer. sake. Cheers. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. What's, what's going on, Ebers? Have you put it in your mouth yet? Yeah. Then you know why I'm so annoyed. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. <clears throat> That's pee. And that is absolutely pee. Oh, it's so pee-ish. Yeah, that's that like frozen so pea soup. Pea. Okay, let's think. Are they, they, it is fresh pea, it's not mushy pea. So it has to be like bird's eye. It's got, uh, they are bird's or eye. Or uh, um, garden, no, garden peas of the type. Bird's eye is the only pea I can think of that would be a British brand. Unlike the first one with the ice cream, which was so beautifully smooth. This is coarse. This is, this gets a bit stick in your teeth. It, it does. But I'm, it's I'm, very tasty. I actually don't mind it. Can we lock in peas? Definitely. Right, let's have a look. I guess peas are sweet. Peas are very sweet, that's what I mean. Yes. Yeah, there we go. It actually just looks like it could be blended peas. I wonder how much dairy it's got in it. Oh, it is a sorbet. Oh, it's a sorbet, okay. That's why it tasted frostier. Mm. It's very tasty. Sweet peas, like Where they are you put delicious. It and why would you have it? I think this one is I think this is simply... purely for the novelty of the pop-up. Yeah, eat it out of the tub, it's tasty. Mm, it is tasty. And you've, you've done it. That's, that's what I think this purpose is. Bird's eye, petit pois, bosh. Bird's Eye are a UK brand known for making frozen food, including frozen fish, veg, chicken, and ready meals. Freshly picked garden peas and petit pois are frozen within just two and a half hours of being picked, retaining all the fresh peas nutrition. These taste of 100% pea. I'm gonna break it to you, it's 36% pea. Oh. The rest is sugar and water. I love texture, so I'm all for that, but I can imagine some people being put off by the texture. It's a more difficult eat, but a more fun eat. I think not least for the colour, but also it- Look at it! <laughs> it smacks you around the face of pea the moment you put it in your mouth. And the branding- It's so weird, isn't it, to see that on an yeah. ice cream tub. This is great. 
I love this. Next. No preconceptions. Let's do the next one. No preconceptions. Ready for more? Yep. Ready for four? Ready for four. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Are you? It's not over here. Oh, here it is. 100% know what that is. Straight away from the smell. I mean, that's ke tomato ketchup. Yeah, Heinz. 100%. So I think this was, along with Bisto, <laughs> ketchup and baked beans, I think this was the one that made the standout kind of like advert for the pop-up. Oh, has it got a bit so of spice to it? No, I've, do you remember, uh, here we go. Do you remember when we made tomato soup cake? And we made a cake batter that had an entire tin and we put it of Campbell's in tomato soup into the batter and then we baked it in the tin. Yeah, right, yeah. And when it baked, it had all of that spicing that almost tasted like ginger cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like and gingery, it just, peppery. I was like, but you don't wow. get that from a tin of tomatoes or tomato soup, but you did get it when you baked it. And now you're right, you're kind of getting that here. I get a really peppery, gingery uh, sensation on my tongue. Do you like that? It's not unpleasant. It's not a scoop that I'd choose at the end of a meal. It's really interesting though, isn't it? I'm locking in ketchup. <laughs> if you're gonna lock in ketchup, just to be awkward, I'm gonna lock in tomato soup. Okay, deep blindfold. N none the wiser from the color. No, that's ketchup. That's got to be ketchup. Yeah, right, ketchup. ketchup. Yeah. Unmistakably, <laughs> <laughs> the taste of sun-ripened tomatoes with a perfect combination of sweet, salty, and tangy flavors. And it turns out that the tomato ketchup ice cream was such a hit with the ice cream project that we couldn't even get a full tub. Uh, so we haven't got a tub to look at, we've just got a few scoops. I mean... Someone brought this scoop back from... <laughs> it survived pretty well. Heinz tomato ketchup, a staple at mealtime since 1886. Grown, not made. Does it taste like how it's supposed to? Yes. Is the colour what you expected? Yes. yes. But I would agree on the spicing. Yeah, like that is genuinely a surprise. Very tasty. I like it. Still don't want it for dessert. You don't want to put it with your fish and chips, do you? I think it is an experience maybe in a tub or a cone when you walk past the pop-up. I agree. Another one? A great novelty, I would say. Number five. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa, what is that? That is not sweet. It is sweet. Whoa, what is that? I'm not sure if that's nice. Sour, but not, not citrus sour. Why does it taste- It's tangy. Burny. Yeah. Not like a chili. No. But like a-, a Like caramel, almost like- Almost like a must- mm, Maybe it's chili. Because once the fat goes, all I'm left with is chili. But aside from taste- oh My goodness, this is- It leaves a sensation. What is that weird thing at the really end of that? It's recognisable as well. Oh, it's if so that was, familiar. If that was mayonnaise rather than ice cream. Yeah. Is it sweet chilli? Yes. Yes. I yes. Want, I, yes. I, I want to dip calamari rings into it. Yes. That's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. I don't know what, what the is. brand is. No, the dragony. Uh, oh, the blue dragon one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe. You know, like the purple packet? Yep. Looking in sweet chilli. Sweet chilli? Sweet chilli. Take, take things off? Yeah. At first I thought it was mustard or horseradish. Yeah, same. But it's definitely the yeah, chilli note. Blue Dragon original sweet chilli. Nailed it. Gen genuinely nailed it. Rich creamy vanilla with a sticky sweet tang of chilli and a touch of heat. Don't taste any of the heat. Ah, oh, yeah, of course, got, look. You can see the bits of chilli in it. A warm, but it's not a... Yeah, yeah, and I, I can see the bottle now. It's in every supermarket aisle. And there it is. It's that one. Yeah. That is original sweet chilli sauce in ice cream. Interestingly, it's basically ice cream and it's only 6% sweet chilli sauce. You only need 6% to give it that. So it's not like smacking you around the face with it. One of Thailand's favourite food, made from an authentic Thai recipe, essential dipping sauce for spring rolls, prawn crackers, Thai fish cakes. I think they're the good side of novelty. They're absolute novelty, but they deliver on They're the kind of novelty where you want a scoop. Yeah. You probably don't want a tub. No. Blue Dragon sweet chilli sauce. That's the stuff. There's still more to come. What a creative culinary creamy adventure we've been on. Last one of our creamy adventures. I mean, a bit firm in this one. Come on, I'm really having, I'm struggling. Oh, you won't go up running much with them. 
I don't know what I've got. Oh, ooh, got a lot. It's not nice. Ugh. Oh, it's got lumps in it. Oh, what is that? Not knowing what it is and not being able to see what it is heightens the dread. Oh, it's sour, but it's that, really oh, sour. Do you know what I think that is? We've got to guess it. Pickled onion. <clears throat> it's definitely it. pickly. Yeah. And yeah, it's got onion. It's, it's got it's, sour. Pick, it's pickle and it's onion. It tastes like cheese. Cheese. Sour cheese. No, it's not cheese. Th this one being the hardest and I would argue the most unpleasant. I, this one is. Is. I know what this is. Pickle. Branston pickle. Oh my god, is it? It tastes of a pickle, a cheese and pickle sandwich. That's why I think it tastes like cheese. That is Branston pickle. Yeah, it is. It tastes brown. That's yeah. not nice. That is Branston pickle. Now you said it. Isn't it? That's all I can get now. Yeah. Oh my god, we're so good at this. <laughs> I think you're right. Claim it, take it. Let's get these blindfolds off before I get any more sticky. Oh, it's also the Brown sandwich chunks. pickle, which is like the small chunks as opposed to the ploughman's chunks. Eating it, I was. It tasted like a cheese sandwich. It's just. Mm. It's just a really weird thing. Yeah, you've nailed that. Correct. Branston pickle. That, I am buzzing with that answer. Mellow cheddar cheese. What? With the chunky, crunchy bite of Branston. As in, is it both? It's got cheese in it as well. It is, ch it is cheddar cheese and Branston pickle ice cream. Well played, Mike. Mine. It's actually twice as much cheese as it is pickle. Made from ingredients including carrot, cauliflower, onion, malt and vinegar. So it's got that pickled onion, but you're 100% right with all the other dates and tomato and spices and apples. I love Branson pickle. Me too. I stand behind them. I, lo I like them. Not sure I quite like their pickle in an ice cream. Valid. You know, like when you're watching a film or TV and you see a character or like an actor that you've seen in something else and you just can't put your finger on it. Yep. And you're trying desperately not to Google the answer until you give up and Google the answer. That's what this entire episode has felt like. Six of them. I'd say a 50-50 on whether I'd want another scoop. No, I had my favourites. I'm glad we did that. That was a it was lot really of fun. It was really good fun. And uh, it turns out, soy sauce ice cream, where we started, I think we hit the pinnacle at the first one. I agree. I agree. I would use that. But over to you guys. Have you tried any savoury ice cream flavours or weird ice cream flavours that we should try ourselves in the studio here? Comment down below. Let us know. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, please. Thank you.